Yo, what up, what up, what up? It's the one and only solo coming at you. I'm uh doing a voiceover for the replay of my third uh Crown Royale victory. I just kinda unexpectedly got it. But uh already two people gone and then the person killed themselves I guess my first thing was I wanted to find that prism so I could give it a trace that was my first objective Basically, just trying to, you know, get my, my, my ammo and my weapons. My uh, dedicated partner, Diamonds and Pearl, she's on hiatus right now. But uh, she'll be joining us in a little while, I suppose. Shout out to Diamonds and Pearls. My Fortnite bestie. Now at this point, I was looking for um, the shotgun, the pump shotgun. That's what I was looking for. That's why I haven't taken any of the weapons that take shotgun shells, because that um, that pump shotgun is something else. That pump shotgun can be a beast. Excuse me. I'm trying to figure out what direction I need to go in so I can get back to Trace. A quick chest. And I originally, I thought that he was on top of this building, but he is so much further away. Once I looked, I was looking for the purple light. And once I realized where it was at, I was like, man, and that's the shotgun. I, no, that's not the shotgun I was looking for. I thought it was, that's not it. Get a little more shield. I didn't even realize there was that many people around me. That's the one thing I kind of enjoy about these replays. You can kind of see where everybody is. So I decided to get a little help. And there's the purple beacon that I was looking for way over there. The purple light shooting up into the sky. I'm not really worried about that chest I just passed. I don't know if y'all could hear it or not, but I heard it. And that's one of the cool things I like. I invested in this headset and I didn't realize that, you know, the quality of your headset can 
you know, help help decide whether you live or die. Cause like I can hear what direction sounds are coming from, and that's the big difference. And the headset that I had prior to that, I could not, uh, I could not decipher, you know, where the sounds were coming from. But now that I have my brand new headset, which was only a few dollars on Amazon, shout out to them. Um, now I'm hearing everything like it, like I should hear it, which is great. And here we go, I'm trying to get the trace. And of course, somebody was shooting at me, but I, uh, I just basically kept on. Sometimes it's good to just keep running, man. Just keep running. Sometimes that'll keep you alive. As y'all know, it's dangerous out here in these Fortnite streets. One minute you searching the chest, grabbing a little go, and next minute, bow, headshot, gone. Now look at you. You're back in the lobby, looking stupid. All right. Turn in the prism to trace. I thought I heard somebody coming. I was like, but that was my help. And then somebody shot my help up, and I'm like, okay, well. And then he ran. But he killed my help. <sighs> so now I ain't got nobody watching my back. So I decided to hit a couple of augments. They kind of increased my chances of survival. Turn the prism in the trace. I didn't even recognize that person that was running around down there. Again, that's what I, say. That's what I like about the replays because it shows you where everybody was at while you were playing, even though you can't see them. But I do like that about, about the game. And then that person ran, but I think I ended up running into him again at some point. And then next time I think I got the W. Cause I know he's inside that temple where I am. I just don't know where he is. And I heard somebody banging, and I was like, where are they banging at? But I didn't even see him. He was right there. Running. And I didn't even know I ran right past that person. Like I said in the beginning, sometimes the best thing to do is just run.
and not necessarily if you outgun, but I mean, just sometimes it's just safer, so you can have time to regroup. And always, always, always make sure you reload your guns when you got downtime. Make sure all of them reload because you don't want to be a victim of the reload. Now, me, myself, I prefer the MK Assault Rifle as well as the, um, the pump shotguns. And I will take a thermal DMR. However, I don't prefer it, but I will take one if I need to. And, you know, of course, anything that's uh, upgraded, you know, other than a, a gray, if it's a epic or a, a legendary. I was trying to figure out where that person went that came with the zip line. I couldn't figure it out, but I was kind of, you know, just kind of staying covertly hid just in case. Oh yeah, buddy was getting up out of there. Oh, so he was the one that probably shot at the llama. Oh, and he was. I see him not because he's going toward it. Oh yeah, so okay. So I did end up killing him. I was just trying to figure out but why would you shoot the llama? The llama's gonna die anyway. Remember what I said. Always make sure you reload. Always make sure you reload. Because there's nothing worse than being in a firefight and your gun runs empty. And you don't have another one ready. Nothing worse than that. And even though I have the flapjack rifles, I don't necessarily care for them because it doesn't have any crosshairs on it. You just kind of sprain and praying. That's the way I feel about it anyway. that shield on. You never can have too much shield. At this point, I didn't even realize it was only 12 people there.
He back there trying to snack up and uh, get his shield back up. That's okay, no worries. I hear somebody coming in. Sometimes it can be hard to uh, aim. So what I did was, I said, you know what? let me go to another area. I came over here originally looking for the medic that's usually in the building that I'm on. But somebody already hired him, I think. And then people just started dying. And I was like, whoa. And then I see this person. I heard, I knew this person was over here. Because I seen him when I was flying over. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to just wait for him to surface. And as luck would have it, I caught him slipping. Check this out, y'all. Before he even got a shot off, good. Look at that. That's why you always have to have your awareness on point because sometimes you know, in these Fortnite matches, before you even realize you're getting shot at and turn around, most of your shield is gone and your health is halfway gone. And if they shooting you with anything better than a blue shaded weapon, then you're going to be out of there pretty quick. Anytime you got some time, downtime, make sure you shield up, make sure you reload your guns. That's the best tip I can give you. That's the best tip I can give you. Just make sure you reload your guns. Because if you don't, you're going to be a victim of the reload. And victim of the reload is when you're shooting your guns and you run out. And you got to reload your gun and the other person still shooting and they hit you. And I'm telling you what, people in this... In this session, it was dropping like flies. I was like, whoo, there's only three people left. So I went and checked this. I didn't even realize the storm was coming. I saw it, and I was out. I'm like, Phew. man, let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. And then my main concern after this was, was trying to find some health just in case. Because you don't want to be coming out of the storm trying to get into a firefight with somebody. Because it's going to make you easy pickings for them. And as you can see, my energy is going way down. And then I saw the person running. And I didn't know where the other person was. So I'm just kind of, even though I'm running, I'm kind of hanging back. So I'm like, alright, I'm going to let these two kill each other. And then I just killed a winner. And I only had 11%. And luckily, I was able to finish them all. And there you have it. My third win.